Spain boss Fernando Hierro admitted after the 2-2 draw with Morocco that his side were lucky to finish top of Group B and stressed the need for defensive improvement. Hierro's men were set to finish second in the pool, and face Group A winners Uruguay in the last 16, until a stoppage time equalizer by substitute Iago Aspas. Initially the flag was up for offside, but the goal, Spain's second leveler of the contest, was subsequently given following a VAR review. With a later on goal seeing them hold Portugal 1-1, Spain and Portugal ended up level on 5 points in 1st and 2nd place respectively, with goals scored putting the former ahead. And, thus, it will be hosts Russia for La Roja in the last 16 while the Portuguese take on the Uruguayans. Hierro, having succeeded this act, Real Madrid-bound Julen Lopetegui on the eve of the FIFA World Cup, has overseen a 3-3 draw with Portugal, a 1-0 win over Iran, and now this result. And he said in his post-match press conference, streamed on FIFA's website, this entire group was a tough one and history bore it out. So the first conclusion I draw is that despite all these challenges, we emerged on top, so we need to look at the silver lining, think positive. Obviously we can improve and there are things that definitely need to be worked on. We will definitely be self-critical, conceding, 5 goals in 3 matches is not the way forward, and it's what I've told my players, Spain had gone 1-0 down in the 14th minute when Khalid Boutev punished a mix-up between Andres Iniesta and Sergio Ramos before drawing level 5 minutes later through Isco's strike. They survived scares after that when Butteb almost took advantage of further slack defending as he was denied by David De Gea, and Nordin Amrabat's shot hit the post before Yusuf and Nessiri put Morocco 2-1 up in the 81st minute. Piero added, I have to say that we were lucky to finish first. I'm going to repeat that our initial goal was to be at the top of the group and we've reached that goal. And now we need to be very demanding with ourselves and have very clearly in mind that if we concede so easily, it will be very difficult for us to reach our ultimate goal. Morocco boss Hervé Renard, whose side finished bottom of the group on one point having also lost 1-0 to Iran and Portugal, saw them collect six yellow cards in this match. He took issue with Spain's Gerard Pique escaping a booking for an early challenge on Boutet, and also questioned the corner that led to Aspas goal. Renard said in his press conference, we were a bit upset when Peak was not booked when he used both feet, but maybe this is not the most important aspect. The question I'd like to raise is on the second equalizer, we expect a corner on one side and it's played on the other. I wonder whether this is allowed. If not, there's a major mistake. I tried to check with the referee, but the door was closed. He added, we would have loved to have beaten Spain, that was why we came here. We suffered, like any other team who takes on Spain. I think our players should be commended. The whole team should be commended for this World Cup. We've showed that we can take on two of the best teams in the world, Portugal and Spain.